go. Salam alaikum. What is going on? Yesterday I was in a funeral of a guy that's 25 years that was stabbed for his mobile phone. The guy basically is from Iraq, yeah. I saw his dad and everything. But what I'm trying to say, London is getting mad. If someone's trying to take your mobile phone and they run away, yeah, then boy, I don't know if it's worth your life, bro. I know it's like there's hadith saying if you die for your property, you die as a shaheed, but at the end of the day, bro, come on, man. The mobile phone, you can go buy that the next day. You get me? Hello, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Peace, yeah? Peace. That's all I know about you. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, all I know about you is peace. That's I like that. Cartoon, do you want to, you want to ask me Cartoons question, over you? character, whatever. Yeah? My name is Modine. <laughs> what I'm up to, basically, I spread peace, love, unity and knowledge to the people. If you want to jump in, you can jump in. This is my guy, Borshki Oms. And you can jump in that show. Give us some platform, innit? If you want to talk about peace, talk about peace. Because we're trying to talk about peace out there. How do you get the peace? You get the peace when you take out terrorism. How do you take out terrorism when you take out Saudi and their clerics who are teaching people to blow up people, preaching people to kill Yemen, who is 10 million children now will die of starvation. And when you tell Donald Trump, stop arming Saudi. When you tell Donald Trump and the American government, stop sending billions of weapons to the terrorist Saudi country, that's when you get peace. That's when you get love. But when you keep on arming terrorism and putting a blind eye to Yemen and 10 million people dying with no food, then there's no peace. There's going to be, there's going to be hypocrisy because no one's talking about and it. Iraq and Libya and, and all the countries, yes, all the countries. Mention, mention. Yeah, all the countries, yes, you're right, brother. But, what, is done. but the reason I'm talking about Yemen now is because it's getting serious now. Yesterday, a food, uh, a food bank was hit and the people, they got no food now. And the world is just thinking about their bellies and their common. That's what that's that's one one way. What's happening in Yemen is unacceptable. True. And it is not acceptable. But the question is that the how you get the peace by getting rid of it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just some yeah. oh, just so close. Yeah. <laughs> no no, because you said something which made me laugh. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. So, um, can I, can I just if you think about it, what Saudis do with the nation, it has not softened the theology. And you, you said you need to get rid of the terrorists. What is your definition of terrorists? If you take, taking the life of other people is a terrorism. Ah, basically, what is, your, what is your belief? Basically, my belief here yeah, is that what is happening now is that the world is turning a blind eye and using hypocrisy and using only this word terrorism when they feel like it, it suits them but they're not being honest people to God because God says don't support evil people what does Donald Trump and his government do support evil people in the Middle East God said help the oppressed why is the oppressed now why is the oppressed now not getting any help me Muslim yeah <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, this part. <laughs> yeah, also what I wanted to say, yeah. So let me let me just finish what what I'm gonna step in and then continue. Mo, okay. you're gonna have to answer the questions now, mate. Before she starts, a man came from the desert to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said, "I came from a far away place. Can you give me advice?" And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If you came from a far away place, I will give you one advice. Keep this advice till you die." He said, "What is it?" He said, and an atom of, do, of good, you shall see it in the next life. And an atom of bad, you shall see it in the next life. So this is advice for all of us. An atom of good you do now, you will see it in the next life. This is the Quran. So we need to be collecting points, scoring as much points as possible. That's what, that's what, that's what we need to be doing. Good points, not bad points. Because the bad points add up as well. So, so remind me your name. My name is Mo. <laughs> I'll call you Mohammed. No, allow me, please. So, please, yeah. since, since you brought up a couple of things Mohammed said, and then that was your message to your camera, it looks like your intention here. It's not his is, camera. Impartial. It's since your intention here. But it's not my camera, sorry. You have to address the people and say, sorry, not your camera, but since on the camera. Your intention here is but different. It's in uh, I, love, I love you to just explain. I want you to just explain. I want you to just explain that Muhammad's blood towards jihad, and also you are talking about the terrorism. And I believe this was religious terrorism. I think this is terrorism. Can you just?
Muhammad, mad man. Mad man, Muhammad. وامه جميل عدوة الله <تصفيق> يلا يا ابراهيم الله الاسكا جو يا رامي جو يا رامي سو شي انسر شي اسكت ذا كويستشن انا ام غونا انسر هير كويستشن اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذا هولي قران which we kiss and we respect this miracle which ha, ha, which has been protected for 1400 years crazy hey. women come cut them off crazy women okay so this holy book it talks about justice it talks about peace unity love treating the people of the book with respect treating the people as humans with respect and love and mercy however the ter- the when the quran talks about talks against killing it talks against the pedophiles it says you should kill the pedophiles corruption. you should kill corruption you should kill people like hitler saddam all the mass murderers saudi kings all of these the quran says stand up against oppression these kind of people they should be executed because if they stay on the earth they'll keep on killing and raping so this is why the quran talks in a strong way against these tyrants against these criminals wherever they may be in the world whether they are Donald Trump and his people or they are Saudi and their people or whether they are the people from the prisons who kill and, and rape anyone who is evil the, the, Quran, the Quran talks against these people no but Quran Quran is the one I'm full I'm full I'm finished Muta is the Muta is the lawful Muta is the lawful we're talking and then you told us Quran speaks against that you told you told us Quran speaks against people adults who have sex with the child mm. with the child yeah. you talked about the Quran talks about the criminals yeah so and even but hey, listen you. don't no no no, no 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 why is he getting involved yeah. don't get involved even, she's talking yeah. Yeah. as if brother as if don't get involved even as if don't get involved yeah. even, listen listen even, even, listen even muta don't talk don't even, talk no no no, no. don't No, 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 stop it! Even the Quran says, Muta is allowed. Muta is the divine law. Don't talk! Don't talk! Stop it! 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 Stop
Jacob and Isaac. And Ishmael. And, and Ishmael. No, 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 no. Not Ishmael. And Ishmael. No, no, no. no, no. Don't take Ishmael away. Ishmael is Ishmael. a wild donkey. No. no. Ishmael. Ishmael. No, no, no. Ishmael. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. 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 He is a prophet he's of not, God. He is not only God. your prophet. He was he's a prophet. not only your prophet. He is uh, my uh, uh, character as well. What kind of you just call him a donkey? He's you're donkey. He's not a donkey. He's not a donkey. He's not a donkey. He's not a prophet. He's just a character in the Bible. Respect. Why are you calling him a donkey? He is just a character. I respect. Respect. I respect. Respect. I respect. No donkey. I respect. No donkey. Yes, Bible says. Ishmael is a no, 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 no. Respect. The Bible says. Respect. The Bible says. Respect. He is a wild donkey Respect. of the world. Respect. He is a Respect. wild donkey. He's a son of Abraham. No. Respect. No, 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 no. Respect. This is a prophet. You are mistaken. Respect. Isaac is the only. Isaac, Isaac is the only. Isaac is the only. Yeah. He's the son of Abraham. Isaac is the only. Isaac is the son of Abraham. Isaac is the only. I've been saying my boy. No, no, no. This one. Yeah, no, don't. No. You, you are donkey. 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 Hey, 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 hey. You are Hamar! You are Hamar! You are donkey! Respect! 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 God himself! Ishmael! God himself is saying, Ishmael is a wild donkey. Did God bless Ishmael? Yes, he did. Don't compare the donkeys. You are donkeys. Yes, he did. You are donkey. Did God give him a donkey? Don't even compare. God said he is a wild donkey. You are wild donkey. He 